Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing two new watercolor brushes for Procreate to be used on the iPad Pro. These are totally free. You can download them following the link in the description or the pop-up link up here. And I am going to be sharing with you kind of how they work, how they work together with my Floody Flow and Floody Smudge brushes. And then I'll be painting something and showing you how I incorporate them into my process in kind of different ways that you can use them because these brushes work as paint brushes as well as smudge brushes. Before we dive in, I just want to say thank you for all the positive feedback on my last brushes. It was so fun to share them with you and to start seeing some of the posts that you guys have tagged me in on Instagram and shared with me of what you been creating with the brushes. It's insane uh, how talented you guys are and just the general response and you guys being interested in my videos and interested in downloading my brushes has been awesome. I've been so excited to share them with you so I definitely wanted to come right back with a couple more brushes that I've been working on and show you how to use them. Okay so the first brush that I'm going to show you is the Magical Watercolor Brush which is a funny name for it, but I'm really excited about this one. I just combined a couple brushes and was shocked at the outcome. And this is similar to the Floody Flow brush, except that it has a really hard edge. And so it is really great for painting super real watercolor. As long as you do not pick up your pencil, it will flood together with one continuous edge and it's pressure sensitive. So I can taper off and fade out just by applying less pressure to the screen. And that's on full opacity. So if I bring down the opacity, I can really start to fade out even more. And this is great for combining with other brushes, also getting variation. And so it doesn't build color as much as the Floody Flow brush, but it still builds a fair amount and you can layer color on top and then go and blend it in. So I am very excited about this brush. I really like combining it with the Floody Flow and the Floody Smudge brushes. The Floody Smudge brush especially will allow you to get the depth of color that you're looking for and also keep this nice hard edge. And overall, I think this all saves a lot of time in the watercolor technique. So you might be wondering how it combines with other colors. If I am to pull in this burgundy, then I'll go in with this mint green. And the two don't blend together there. And so I think that this is where using the smudge tool is going to be your best bet. So if I go in with the smudge tool on the magical watercolor and have the opacity at 100% and the size pretty big too, I'm gonna get some really cool blending effects here. And this is going to give me that hard edge without adding any more pigment to the page. If I undo that, I can also go in with the Floody Smudge Brush. And this is currently my favorite blender. It really is just like adding water. And I think that this gives you probably the most realistic watercolor effect of blending colors together. But you can, because it's pressure sensitive, you can start to layer the color on top and that'll give you a good effect too. But again, your best color blending is going to come from using the smudge tool. So if I clear the screen, then I'm gonna go in once more with the Magical Watercolor Brush and I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up and I'm going to overlap a few layers of color. And if I use full pressure, I won't have the color variation, which might be the effect that you're going for. If I vary my pressure, I won't have as much of a hard edge. And you will see more of the strokes because not only is it pressure sensitive as far as the opacity goes to give you that hard edge, it's also pressure sensitive for size. And so the less pressure I use, the smaller my strokes are going to be. Now, the next brush that I'm going to show you is called the Watery Hard Edge. And this is an interesting brush. It's definitely very different from the edge brushes that I have created in the past. 
and that is because it's not a single direction brush. It's got some similar qualities to the previous watercolor brushes that I've I've shared the Floody Flow and this magical watercolor brush. But this is really unique in the fact that the harder you press, the less pigment you have. And so it's a brush that maybe has a little less control to it, but it allows you to get this really cool hard edge effect that pairs great with other brushes. And so I can kind of show you what that might look like if I go in and use the Floody Flow brush, paint this leaf, and I'm gonna use the Floody Smudge brush to get maximum color variation in here. And then I'm gonna go in and use the watery hard edge and I'm on the same color. I'm just going to start to paint without picking out my pencil from the screen and it'll flow together and I'll get that hard edge there and then I can cover the middle and start to use more pressure on the center and the overlapping areas will start to slowly fade away. So the edge will start to fade away here, but I'll keep it in some of the leaf. So I don't know if I'm doing the best job of explaining this, um, but I feel like this is if you were painting real watercolor and you took your hair dryer and you were blowing layer after layer of watercolor dry and you weren't using a ton of pigment. It was all going to the edges. That's kind of what this brush does. So it might not be an all-purpose brush, but it definitely gives you a cool watercolor look. And again, the harder you press, the more it fades away, which is just a really fun thing to try. So first I am going to do a quick sketch using the character drawing toolkit, which I have linked below. I'm gonna speed through this for you so that we can get to the good part of using the watercolor brushes. Okay, so now that I have my outline of my bear, I am going to go in and I'm gonna use a native Procreate brush from the inking panel called Mercury. And I'm gonna work on a new, a painting layer right above this. And the goal is to just create a smooth, more consistent outline that's not so sketchy. Now that I've finished the outline, he's kind of a scruffy little guy, I am going to move this outline all the way to the top of my painting layers, and I'm going to start working on the layers directly below it. I'm going to choose this brown. I'm gonna start with the watery hard edge. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to paint just some, some shadows here. And then I'm going to use the smudge tool and the floody smudge brush to start blending this in. Then I'm gonna use the eraser tool, which I will use on the magical watercolor brush. And I'm gonna remove some pigment from a couple key areas where I want to put down a different color. And then I'm gonna choose this peachy color, and I'm gonna try using the Magical Watercolor Brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a hint of some of this color and let it bleed over the edge here, and then also in the ears. And then I'm gonna go back and use the smudge tool and blend the rest of the foot. And then staying on this magical watercolor brush, I'm gonna go back to the brown. Here, I'm gonna go to another layer and I'm gonna fill in a little more detail. And then I am gonna go back up to my upper layer and go back to the watery hard edge brush. And I'm gonna go on the outline here, bring my size down a bit. And I just wanna get some, without adding too much pigment, I wanna get a little more hard edge. And so I'm gonna use more pressure as I get towards the center to remove some of that pigment, but still keep in a couple of these places, the nice spilled hard edge. Thank you. 
Now I wanna make sure that I can see the color that I'm gonna put on the snout here. So I'm going into both of these layers and just erasing. Uh, it doesn't have to be completely perfect, but I'm just trying to remove as much of the color of the, the fur as possible. And then I'm still on the watery hard edge and I'm just going to fill this in. And I really, I like this layered effect here where it is still inside the lines. And so I'm gonna go back and do a little bit more of that in some of these places where the stuffed animal body parts overlap. And especially where it's in the more shaded part of the face here, I don't mind keeping the pigment and just blending the softer edges that I don't want. Okay, my camera died, but this is all you missed. I just added a little more shading. I've turned the blend mode of my outline layer to darken and I've turned the opacity down to 85% because I want it to be a little more subtle to fit this watercolor look. And I've decided that I just wanna add a little more something to this because this is just kind of a weird, a weird thing to paint. <laughs> so I am going to paint some kind of background. Okay, I decided this was a boring drawing and so I'm gonna make it a creepy bear. Okay, that's it, it's done, we're calling it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. Again, if you want to download the brushes, you can follow the link in the description. They are totally free. And you can sign up for my email list. I send out a new Procreate color palette every month. And so you can get exclusive access to that. If you liked this video, got something out of it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out and subscribe for more. I've been putting out videos weekly-ish and trying to get into a regular routine. And so you will definitely see more from me, some with brushes, some Procreate tutorials, some watercolor stuff. So follow along for more of that. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next one.